G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines over here in Mandurah, Western Australia and we've got a treat for you this afternoon. We've got Ross Tizard's Stabbycraft 1550 powered with a 70 horsepower motor and why is it special? Well this isn't a dealer boat, this is a customer's boat and it's Ross's second Stabbycraft. So let's hear from Ross about why he thinks these Stabbycrafts are so great. Okay, my name is Ross Tizard and I live in Hallshead in Mandra. The model is a Stabbycraft 1550 and they call it a Frontier. On the back of it it's got a 70 horsepower Suzuki 4 stroke. Our trailer is a Dumbia trailer. We're quite mad and keen on uh, crabbing so it's quite a summer sort of thing. We also do the, the whiting in the estuary and um, black brim in the rivers so it's, we're quite keen on the black brim and do the face of serpentine in the Murray rivers and doing that so yeah and also go out to the just inshore um, snapper so I had two stabby crafts so I had a, a smaller one with a 1410 stabby craft with basically an open dinghy type one and we just upgraded to this one so why do I like the stabby craft I think it's because of the build quality I think um, maybe because I'm ex New Zealand maybe that sort of rubs off a little bit but you do feel safe in them and I'm, I'm not a small person and you can stand on the side of these things and they don't tip or anything and it's just probably the safety factor of them you know I consider the Stabbycraft it's 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 a fine little offshore boat really it's even though it's an open boat like an open dinghy type it doesn't throw it it throws the water away from you so it's 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 pretty good little boat for the size you know fold away seat because I basically just uh, on my own most of the time 90% of the time and when you're crabbing is you're not walking into a seat you're not backing into a seat or anything like that so you just got a nice open area and for a small boat it just opens the whole thing up so yeah, you're not tripping over things and stuff like that uh, battery box and bait station it's, it's from the biggest Davy crafts it's um, brought down from there and the guy who designed these boats he thought it was a good idea to put those in, into there so uh, uh, yeah I think it works out really quite well because they're at a good height and where you can get your batteries out of the way for a small boat and stuff like that so yeah it's good yeah, the full length the hide park as well, you can stick your rods right up through there and, and a stack of rods inside out of the way and uh, that's really good and you can stack a whole heap of gear in, in there. Plus, the, well, it makes a good sitting platform too, so yeah. So. Um, side console, centre console, uh, side console because it's out of the way more so. And you're not, we actually did look at a uh, the bigger 16 foot with a centre console but you're sort of, I'm not a small person, you're trying to squeeze in beside the console getting up and down so with the side console it just opens it up again just gives you a bit more room so yeah yeah depth of the gunnels is fantastic you just feel so safe in there and it's um it's supporting on on your hip and even on up on the casting platform the the bow rail supports on on your hip there too so you, it's, it's it's a good support you know and you just feel safe when you're when you're out there so it's all right for young guys but <laughs> old guys you've got to have a bit of support there so <laughs> Yeah, launch and retrieving, it's, this is one of the points that I like about it. it it's, it's very easy to do launch and retrieve, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very doable. So, as I say, 90% of the time I'm doing it on my own, so it's, uh, it's easy, just one push off and, uh, and that, so that's all. Yeah, dealership uh, with Scott is fantastic. Um, you, you, you couldn't ask for anything more. He's, he's been fantastic all the way through. He sort of keeps you up in the play there and what's going on. Any problems, that you just give them a ring now. They just sort it out, so... You can't ask for anything more than that really, so it's good. The economy on the engine is well, what I've seen so far, I can't remember the figures offhand, but when you just push it on, push the little dash thing and it tells you how many litres you use for the day and it's, you know, some days you go up the river and mucking around and you use like seven or eight litres for the day, which is nothing, you know, so it's fantastic, yeah. So big thanks to Ross for letting us take his dabby craft out for a ride here at Mandurah and, uh, like all stabby crafts, the looks are a bit of an acquired taste, but the ride is fantastic. Bit of a rugged day out there on Peel Inlet today, and the, the ride was really good. Um, the really impressive thing about this boat, though, is the fuel economy. Uh, it's got a 60-litre tank, and it's got a range of over 200 kilometres with that tank. With the wind, we were getting 4.25 kilometres for every litre burned. If I went into the wind, that would only drop to into the threes. Um, 
So really, really good, those Suzuki's in this size class. At that rev range, 3,700 RPM and going 35 kilometres an hour, really deliver excellent value for money in the fuel department. Um, what else I like about it is it's a, it's a, it looks like a little boat from the outside, but it's a big boat on the inside. And it's set up exactly to what Ross likes doing, bit of crabbing, bit of offshore fishing, bit of throwing lures at brim, can do it all. It's got the min coder on the front for that estuary versatility. It's got the anchoring systems for the offshore snapper fishing. It's really is set up for exactly how he likes to fish and that's all a man can want of his boat. Um, I really like that gunnel height as well. Ross liked the gunnel height and when you're out there and it's a little bit rugged, that, uh, that nearly waist height gunnel helps keep you stable and helps keep you fishing efficiently. Um, this boat was set up by Scott DeMouncy from uh, Mandurah Motor Marine. Um, you can visit their website at www.mandurahmotormarine.com.au for more information on these stabby crafts or you can like their Facebook page, Mandurah Motor Marine, for updates on specials and stuff that they've got in stock. Um, this package they started around $45,000. This one here has tested $52,500 and you too can have a stabby craft just like Ross's.